<sighs> There's no telling what'll happen. what's commonly known as Junk Street. Oh, oh, question! Why is it called that? Do you know? A very good question. I do, in fact. This street has shops selling PC parts and other electronic components in abundance. In fact, it's famous for having shops with so much on offer that they have to display much of it outside. Not all of these products are new, however. Lots of them are actually scrap. Or in other words, junk. Thus, over time, people came to refer to this as Junk Street. Well, I certainly learned something new today. Thank you very much. I feel a little bit smarter now. Oh, but Mistress Ryu, I'm not done yet. I still have one more bonus topic to tell you about. In recent years, Junk Street has seen more than just retail outlets, but an influx of restaurants as well. From kebabs to ramen and spit roasts to gelato, Junk Street now sells junk food in abundance as well. You got the money, I got the goods. Step right up and take a look. Ah, there are even junk people here. Wait, it's you. Huh, yeah, that black marketer lady. Good day to you, Mr. Shariko. You know her? Of course. Mr. Shariko is quite famous around here. To those in the know, at least. I feel like a frickin' celebrity in this town. Isn't that bad for business? Speaking of which, isn't it a little early and right to be making illicit deals? Oh, out here, I sling something a little different. What do you say? You want to get a hit of a quest or two? Sorry, did you just say quest? You got a listening problem? You feel like doing something for someone, you talk to me. Got lots of work to offer you. Don't know if you saw the shirt, but I'm really not looking for work. Trust me. more about this place? Certainly. What would you like to know? Well, I've always kind of wondered what it is. It feels very un like to me. It's called UBX. It was created as part of the redevelopment of Akihabara in 2006. 
It's all offices from the fifth floor up, though, so it does clash a little with the usual image of Akihabara. But it does have an event hall as well, where you'll find everything from business conferences to anime meetups. Lots of restaurants, too, making it a pretty handy spot for a lunch break. That's right! You can find anything from reasonably priced udon to yakiniku to okonomiyaki here. It's a great lineup. My personal recommendation goes to their 500 yen meals. They come with all-you-can-eat egg, rice bowls, and everything. Huh. I guess I learned something today, too. Thanks, Moe. What am I, chopped liver? should about do it for the Akihabara tour, for now. For now? Well, I was hoping you'd let me come with you, if it's not too much trouble. What? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'd be glad to have you along, but what about work? Will the cafe survive without you? It'll be fine! I wasn't asking you. Dingus. Nana's tending the cafe, so it should be all right. Besides which, I can't just ignore things the way they are. For realsies? We appreciate the sentiment, Moe, but we don't want to ask you to skip work and ruin your perfect record for us. Not at all. Mistress Saki, you and your entourage here are my personal saviors. This is the very least I can do. Moe, I want to be just like you when I grow up. You're so... so noble! I guess that's a hearty welcome aboard. Good to have you. No, no, the pleasure's all mine. So, since we've been walking around all day, I'd like to suggest we... We're not going home. Yeah, that's what I figured. But I am glad we walked around as much as we did. It helped us glean some valuable clues. Are you kidding? We didn't glean anything but some helpful Akiba trivia. There wasn't a delusion to be found. You're right. We didn't find any delusions. What we found was something even more valuable. The reason Akihabara is caught in this time loop. And the reason delusions have been spreading through the town. What? You figured it out? That's wonderful, Saki! It's related to the history of Akihabara and the town's current state. I don't exactly have proof of this yet, however. What do you mean by that? Akihabara has changed its form from one generation to the next. It's been the radio town, the electric town, and now even the idle town and the maid town. But every time it changed, various forms of delusion would fill each corner of Akihabara anew. I see where you're going with this. There was once a time when Akihabara was all about audio, too. When the town changes, though, it changes fast. And the old Akihabara is simply left behind, forgotten. Which leaves those who were caught up in the old Akihabara trapped in delusions of the past. And with every new change, their number kept increasing. And now Akihabara itself has been left behind. Unable to move into the future, it simply began to repeat the past. I see, and that would explain all the delusions, too. It's a two-for explanation. Humans carry the past along with them. We're always looking at old memories through rose-colored glasses. So the people who love all the old Akihabaras are deluding themselves about how much better things used to be. And they want the town to stop changing so badly that they've blocked its future from even happening anymore. And so this Sunday will keep restarting. The same day repeated forever and ever. Or at least that's my unfounded theory. I have no proof aside from the fact that Akihabara is a hotbed for delusions. Yeah, so that's great, but what does all this mean for us exactly? It means that if we can nullify every single delusion encroaching upon Akiba, we can break out of the time loop. Oh, well that's an easy enough concept to grasp. So we just gotta take down all the grand phantasms then. Not to poke holes in your airtight theory, but how does any of this actually work? If Akihabara is repeating due to a change overload, shouldn't this have happened a long time ago? And how can a bunch of deluded losers in Akihabara cause the entire world to skip like a record? That's the big question. I did say I didn't have any proof. It is hard to imagine how and why Akihabara would be able to affect the entire world, to be honest. But still, but still, I think you're right. It must have. And if it has, 
That would mean... We need to go back to the one remaining delusion in Akihabara. The Chuni delusion. If we get through that, everything might finally be resolved. I had a feeling you were gonna say that. This one's really different from the last one, that's for sure. It's like something out of an anime. Any thoughts on that, Yamato? I'm not really an anime guy. My brother knows a thing or two, though. How old is your brother, anyway? Uh, I, I want to say he's, uh, 25. Wow, just about the same as mine. Big age difference, isn't it? 25, huh? He must know a lot of older anime. I, I guess, yeah. Focus up now. We have to get to the deepest part of this delusion scape. Or have you forgotten what awaits us? Ugh, I wish I could. I still feel like the guy in the hood is a scripted event we're meant to lose. The guy in the hood? It's a customer. Two customers. A couple, perhaps? We'll not lose. Please do ensure you're all presentable. A 
customer has been spotted. Shall we engage? Shall we proceed through as your guide? It's always good to save regularly, but mindfully. Hey, is that the hooded man you were talking about? Pretty suspicious, right? And looks real strong, too. And here we are, all low-level and without any MacGuffin orbs. Well, I for one have had enough backing down. Today, we're going to bulldoze our way through. Long time no see. I hate to accost you out of the blue like this, but mind stepping aside and letting us through? Ye who seek the ancient scar, the time is not right. I'm afraid it's going to have to be, because we're getting through whether you step aside or not. To what end doth ye seek the ancient scar? Doth ye desire to bring about the collapse? So, any of you have any idea what this guy's yammering on about? <gasps> Could the time be upon us? Huh? What time? Seriously, try using normal people words. Yamato, you know this guy? Can't say I do. Art thou prepared to initiate contact with the ancient Scar? Are you saying you'll step aside? Make way for Master Pinkoon! Thou who dost possess the right hand of God, capable of composing the world, I doth await thy answer. Composing the world? That means we'll finally be able to take down this delusion. Afraid not. Your time here is up. Yoo-hoo, Asahin! The Akihabara Freedom Fighters. <laughs> Can't say I didn't warn you not to get in our way. We got here first. If anything, you're the ones getting in our way. Back down. Jeez, I let you get away last time we met, you know? Really? Was that before or after you were knocked unconscious? And here I was, about to hold back again. No mercy this time, girl! Same here! Nah, Akari, you sit this one out. Hmm? You sure you don't need my help? Fighting these losers ain't gonna be a thing. Let's do this. Here he comes. I ah. swear in the name of the Akihabara Freedom Fighters that I'm gonna you. Here we go! 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 Here we go!
as expected. You guys cheated. Boss! Hang in there! Come on! You've got another round in you! I know you do! <sighs> Here, I'll talk, aren't you? To be fair, it was four on one. You actually did pretty well, boss. Guess we're out of options. Akari, time for us to beat feet out of here. But we never run away. When the piece of Akiba's on the line, we never give up the fight. Except for times like now. This here's a strategic withdrawal to keep Akihabara safe. But know this! This is the last time I'll ever go easy on you. Now we're even! Even? For what? For dragging me out of that delusion. What the boss is trying to say is, thank you, just in his own special way. Akari! Stop saying stuff that takes away all my mysterious allure! Next time I see y'all, I'm gonna pull out all the stops. Revel in your little victory while you can. So long, fellas! So long, sellers! They're gone. Gone. Adios. Out of sight. Out of fight! So, wait, are they good guys or bad guys? Still can't figure that out. Doesn't matter to me. As long as they're in my way, they're my enemies. World Composer. <laughs> Forgot about him. Answer mine question. Willst thou lay hands upon the ancient scar? Willst thou call upon the impulses of old and awaken them into this space? Why don't you tell me what this ancient scar is before I touch it? And I don't get what the impulses of old even are. The time is not yet right then. Depart now, ye who seek the ancient scar. Psst, Yamato! Play along. We're almost there. What the hell do you want me to say? Hast thou forgotten the verdant spring composer? The days we spent together seeking the Eternity Fragment. Eternity Fragment? Ha! <laughs> I knew you knew him! I don't! I really, really don't! None of this makes any sense to me! Thus, the time is not right. Depart this place at once. <sighs> May I ask one question first? What dost thou wish to ask of he who observes the passage of time? What is the eighth deadly sin? Who has branded disinterest a sin? Tis nostalgic, the pure white maiden devoid of impurity. Uh... <sighs> Yamato, are you sure you don't understand what's going on here? Because that sounds a lot like... No! I have no idea what this is all about! Not at all! Hey, Yamato! Hold up! Asahi, not you too! Saki, we need to chase after them! suppose we do. Come on! Friend, thou canst hear it as well, no? The Eternity Fragment, it remains. Yamato, what part of Hold Up do you not understand? <sighs> what happened back there? It has nothing to do with any of you. Of course it does. That man, you do know him, don't you? How many times do I have to tell you that I don't? But... But what? But... nothing. Probably just my mind playing tricks on me. Well, a strange man certainly isn't going to divulge any information. I don't think Yamato wants to either, though. Do you really not know that guy? <laughs> well, I think we've made about as much progress as we're going to for the day. Might as well disband for now. Yamato, will you come back and join us tomorrow as well? Yeah. See you then. Same time and place. Tardiness will not be tolerated. We'll just see about that. It's a collectible shop. Perhaps we can buy some trading cards here.
Demon is now open for business. And can you believe drinks are only 222 yen? It's a steal. Oh, yeah. Guess it'd make sense that this place has been celebrating its grand opening every day with the loop. Even the mysterious pink cape has taken a liking to this place, so you know it's good. Come on in. What? Hey, are you serious? N yeah. You just said pink cape's been here. What can you tell me about him? No, I I'm sorry. It was all a fib. What? Why? The pink cape's so famous lately. I thought I could use his name to bring in more people. Famous where? Where do you even hear about him? From the other girls at the cafe and on the net. The net? Just rumors and sightings. People have seen him all over Akiba. Hard me on to with his getup. Guess we've got an urban legend on our hands now, huh? Did he do something? Oh, uh, no, nothing at all. Thanks for all the info, though. Yeah, something's up. I should try to scope out some more info on our pink caped crusader. Yamato? Yo, Yamato Hongo! That is you, right? Huh? Hey, man, didn't think you'd still be in Akiba. What were you staring at? Looked like you were kind of zoning out. I... I wasn't staring at anything. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really need to be getting home. You have some business at Game Mars or something? Yamato, hey! Aha! <sighs> uh -huh. Keeping an eye on the monitors, I see. You a fan of anime openings and endings? Ah, what are you so surprised for? You really are into this stuff, aren't you? Hell no. Not my style at all. Anyway, I got places to be. Man, dude never misses a chance to run away, does he? guy in a pink cape? I'm not saying this to sound cool or anything, but I actually just saw him. You did? Where? Hmm, it was either on the side streets or on Junk Street. 
I can't remember exactly, but I do remember his super eye-catching cape. That's why I saw him in the first place.